Hi, my name is Andrei Nichipurenka, and with this video, I would like to present you a project which we have made for Intel Make It Pro Challenge. Tennis is definitely fun, but inappropriate judge decisions can drive emotions high very quickly. In some cases, there is a way to avoid these kind of situations by using electronic line judge systems, which can automatically track the flying ball and calculate the touch point very precisely. That's why we decided to build the low-cost device using Intel Edison platform and propose it as a project for Make It Pro Challenge. So the main idea is to install several devices and configure them to constantly monitor certain part of the court using the built-in video cameras and based on the image processing, processing make the decision about whether it was in or out and to let the user know where the decision is we built in two LEDs uh, which can be blinked depending on the decision made and uh, the user can easily see whether the ball was in or out so let us take a closer look what is inside the box which is by the way also completely designed and 3d printed by ourselves as you can see we are using intel edison with the arduino breakout board there are two connected leds to it and the usb web camera we decide for this particular web camera this is a playstation 3i camera uh, mainly because of the of, of its ability to deliver higher frame rate up to 100 frames per second which is very important for the fast moving objects to avoid motion blur the main complexity of the project is actually on the software side in order to test our processing algorithms under realistic circumstances we've made a lot of video from the real tennis courts one of them you can see currently on the screen. To accomplish this task, we decide to use OpenCV, which is a well-known library for image and video processing, highly optimized for Intel platform. We use several functions such as background removal, a low-pass filter, hog transformation, in order to achieve stable and robust ball tracking. What you currently see on the screen illustrate the performance of our algorithm. Here you can see the cycle detection and line detection. This algorithm contains the following steps. First, we use OpenCV functionality to extract background and highlight moving parts. After that, we apply the low pass filter to remove noise from the foreground mask. After that, we perform some smoothing and apply color thresholding followed by Hawk cycle detection algorithm. Having a ball position across the frames, we can estimate the trajectory and calculate the touch point. And as a final step, we can blink LED based on the location of the detected touch point. As a conclusion, I can say that it was not an easy task for us to build that prototype uh, within a pretty finite time frame. We were facing certain difficulties with software ranging from finding appropriate video processing algorithms to configuring underlying operating system. Uh, we are currently running Uva Linux with our custom built kernel with appropriate modules. Uh, but in general, we are quite happy with Edison module. We think that it provides very nice trade-off between physical dimension, power consumption, and computation power. Uh, we think our software is definitely not at the level as it should be for final product, but we are pretty much confident that it's possible to reach the level which would be acceptable for most of the hobby player. In addition, we would like to say thank you Intel for organizing this challenge, for providing us the hardware. Thank you very much. and. It was fun to participate in this project and of course we hope that the jury decide for our project and of course we hope to win this, the challenge. Thank you.